What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Gamer Dude here. Welcome to you back to another episode of The Saga Log. Episode 252? I, no. Wait. Is it 52? No, 53. Oh my goodness gracious. We are sailing through here. We're like that Sailor Moon episode. I don't even know. I haven't watched Sailor Moon. Okay, it's fine. I was trying to be cool. It's whatever. It's okay. Um, but we're back in this 1080p format. So, um, yeah, it's almost like I'm still nervous. What? Nerves? What? Me? What? No. <laughs> me being nervous? Absolutely never. Dude, I'm nervous all the time. I literally just took an exam <laughs> like an hour ago. And I'm like, it's one of those, you know, I hate the after exam feeling where you're just like I'm gonna just bomb even though you did really well because like that's what I do all the time I like finish the thing and I'm like most of the time I'm like I just bombed it it's whatever but like then it's like no A is not bombing John not just because you didn't get 100% you just bombed you blah. anyway I hate my, like I hate the fact that I do that but I do uh, but yeah we're at the we're at 1080p we are going above and beyond everybody else it's fine uh, whatever I like being better though like improving and making technical advancements but i can't do that this episode because i don't want to have like four hours of rendering okay i already am expecting to have like an hour and a half of rendering four hours a little bit too much um but yeah let's go ahead and give me a team recap figure out what's going on because half this team is gonna die yes um but yeah we have quavarius with baneful bunker dazzling gleam judgment and oblivion wing we have our lovely caratina with Shadow Ball, Moon Guys Beam, Dazzling Gleam, and Dragon Pulse. What a lovely combination. We have Ye with Heat Wave, Venishock, Sparkling Aurea, and plus Precipice Blades. We have Bry with Thousand Arrows, Psychic Fangs, Sacred Sword, and Ice Fang. Piduck, who decided it wants to be the star of the show, um, with <laughs> Water Pulse, Volt Tackle, Scald, and Dazzling Gleam. And then we have Snugglebot with Leech Life, Spore, Dragon Hammer, and acrobatics Pyduck has a docile nature and just decided I'm gonna be the star of the show I needed to see that because I was like you're docile you're not supposed to be the star of the show if anything Bry with the serious nature is supposed to be yeah like honestly though like or you know sassy Quivarius because so that makes I mean Quivarius being the star of the show makes a lot of sense because again Quivarius is sassy not not a Pokemon that's literally neither but okay oh I was trying to avoid as many strengths as possible because we have 6v6 battles up the wazoo today, but whatever, that's fine. Honestly, no, we have a 6v6 battle with, uh, uh, what's his face? Oh, we gotta switch out. Um, we have a 6v6 battle with Faba. Then we get sent down, have the three battles in a row, find that, go up, have another 6v6 battle. It's like, it's just, it's gonna be one of those episodes that is gonna feel short but long if you get to understand that like it's like it's gonna be a short but long kind of episode not necessarily knowing how i feel also Pyduck, why <laughs> mr Pyduck just being the star of the show again whatever Pyduck, you do you um no Pyduck's gonna, there's gonna be something that happens with Pyduck. there's Pyduck cannot just be the star of the show forever okay like there's no way Pyduck can decide to be the star of the show forever Something is bound to happen. Like, come on, Pyduck. Earnings upcoming. Oh, yeah, it's the end of the quarter. When it comes to uh, the financial quarter in the fiscal years. I'm like, earnings upcoming, what? Oh, stocks are going to go freaking hog wild today. Um, luckily, I don't have to worry about that right now. Larvesta. I don't have a rock type anymore that actually I was like rock type go nope that, that won't work you don't have one um hmm. let's just go to yay yay seems like the safest option um we're playing it safe we're playing it with yay um I would stay with my duck but again safety safety first and I want to keep this, these Pokemon just alive, well, and having no issues of death. So, plus, Ye has a water type move too, okay? Ye is doing her thing, strutting her stuff. It's fine, it's Ye. Ye can do what she wants to do, honestly. Also, it's so weird not having, like... 
I could just go up right now, but I'm not going to because there's a, there is a, t a hidden TM. I'm not necessarily much as worried about these things because these things don't really provide any mu much of use to me as it literally didn't. So, proving my point. Thank you. <laughs> I love when the game proves your point. You're just like, this is your point. And the game says, yep, you are right. It's like, yeah, game. Thank you. You're the best sometimes. Sometimes the game is maddening, but most of the time the game just proves your point and you do you and you carry on your merry way. Um, but we do want to not run into it. Wow. Okay. There's no trainers over here in this sun and moon. Okay. Oh, look, it's the Weedle Twin Needle. Uh, let's go. Honestly, I, I almost hit the button to speed up. Nope. That doesn't exist. That literally does not exist. But okay, good attempt, I guess. Oh, you're a trainer. Let's not fight you. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I was trapped either way. I was just trapped either way. They they L'd me. They, they put me in an L. <laughs> that was a good one. Okay, I was not expecting that. Warbadam. Oh, that's an easy kill. Easy clap. Easy clap. We have Kavarius leading. Just boom, gone. Gone in an gone in an instant. Bye, Wormadam. You lovely Pokemon. Can I fight like three of them? I'd love to fight three of them. Also, why does the teacher decide that she wants to be part of this now? 43. Electric. You know what? Bry Bry can take some of the action. Bry doesn't get much action at this point, and so it's like. It's weird though. I mean, really, there's one Pokemon that gets like no action. So some action is better than none. Hi, Shiny. Um, I would love to have you as a real Pokemon on my team because Electros is underrated and underappreciated. So like, please. But no. Honestly though, Electros is one of the, in my opinion, one of the more underrated no, um, Pokemon. Like. It is so ridiculously underrated that I feel super bad for it. Raticate. I'm staying in. Why not? I feel like there's no reason not to stay in. Terra Volt. Even better. Even better that I stayed in. Um, Sacred Sword. That's gonna probably not Oko because King Shield now. Oh boy. Okay. That's bad. Uh, isn't it a harsh fall? It is a harsh fall. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, you're a stat debuffer. Defense harshly fell. I don't trust this Raticate right now. I'm going into Quivarius just because of my lack of trust. Maybe it only has those two moves, or it was just trying to reset the debuffs, which I'm thinking the second is more likely, because it's like, oh, you don't have the debuffs anymore, let me reset them. And it's like, well, unfortunately for you, uh, I have a plan of action, and that includes not dying. Um, that's important. Um, don't you heal me? I don't think they do, so just in case... Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. Okay, you're going up. Looks like outsiders can, can't can use the main elevator to reach the lower levels. I was afraid this might happen. What a pain. We have to go up. Of course we do. Uh, I'm irreplaceable. Oh my gosh. Can you believe it? I cannot believe it. <sighs> I'm Faba, and I'm going to absolutely destroy you. Okay, Faba. You do that. You, whatever, Faba. I don't believe in you, Faba. I, I, I truly don't, and it's going to it's gonna painstakingly cost me because I fight you literally two or three times. Scolipede! This is why I don't trust you. You, you lead with a Scolipede. That's actually a good mod to lead with. In normal circumstances, we're not in normal circumstances. That I, I almost need to put Oblivion Wing on the top because I almost clicked the bad move. Um, that would have been super bad, especially because it decided to buff, but we're fine. Bye, Scolipede. Have a great day. Ugh. 
Thigavolt. I'm putting my trust in EA. I'm putting my trust in EA. EA is going to find a way to make me excited. Oh, that's a super cool shiny. Honestly, I'm a little jealous. But yeah, we're going to heat wave it. And it should be... I don't think it's going to be taken care of. I think it's going to be a 2 at KO. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ooh, no. That's good setup, actually. If I stayed in, it would have used an electric attack, and I'm just too scared to lose anybody. But it decided to set up, because it had a great setup move. Lovely. Uh, we're going to be slower than his entire team now and be taking hits. Good to know. Um, What do we got? Weavile. Ah! That's another not-so-good thing to be fighting. That's... Ah, uh, Pyduck. It's... Yeah. This is Pyduck's time, isn't it? Yeah, it has to be. Okay, come on, Pyduck. Gosh dang, Pyduck. You are... <laughs> Pyduck is really taking so much. It's scary. It's like, oh, hi, Pyduck. You are going to actually, you know, be the thing that saves our life. Because, of course, you are, Pyduck. Why wouldn't you? You know, anything simple and easy? No. It's Pyduck. Nothing can be simple. Nothing can be easy. Well, except for unless it wants to use hail and literally, like, nullify its existence. Which, I mean, I guess if you want to. I'm not going to say no. It's a much easier thing to deal with. And then I can switch into, like, what I want to. But still. Snuggle up. Rampardos. Oh. I'm staying in. I'm actually staying in on that. Rampardos is fast. And I do know that, but I would have had nothing else anyways. And Scald's my best play here. That's gonna hit for a lot. It's hard, because, like, you know what your best option is, but you also know it's scary. Why? Actually, no, that's fine. That's fine. I can switch into Quivarius on this. I have Dazzling Gleam on Quivarius. Um, we don't get impeded by the um, Sticky Web. Quivarius is the option here. Quivarius, Quivarius. Uh, uh, bro, you have a Shiny Hydreigon. Can you give that to me, please? I want that. He... Gave up so hard that he decided to just throw away a shiny high dragon. Excuse me? <laughs> Let me just throw away my shiny high dragon real quick. I don't care. I've lost this battle already. Okay. You are a sad individual. Why would you do that? Excuse me. I'm just going to throw away a shiny. That uh, pseudo legendary. You know, that's a great idea. Yeah, Papa. You, and now you know why I don't trust you at all. Because you just... You literally threw away, like, the one of the best Pokemon ever, by the way. Hydreigon is such a good Mon. And he just threw it away. He said, this is nothing to me. I'm dead anyway. I'm not going to try. He gave up. He straight up gave up, which is sad. Because it's like, why would you give up? Also, that was a moon guy. He literally gave up. <laughs> oh, my God. Gosh, I've never seen an AI give up like that, ever. It, he just did. He just said, no, I'm done. I got two Pokemon left. I'm done, guys. I give up. That was like a rage quit. That was an AI rage quit. Just, like... Because, <laughs> of course, why not rage quit? Right? It's fine, Baba. You can rage quit if you want to. I know somebody just like that. Ugh, dude, it would trigger me so hard when they did that. It's like, you have a pseudo chance. Like... I don't care if it's a 1% chance. You have a 1% chance. What if that 1% chance gets spun? Oh boy, now you can win again. Like, you can turn the tables. It's a, this is a Pokemon game. It's, luck can turn the tail. Is it likely? No, but can it happen? Yes. Or can you misplay and change the course of the game? Yeah, it's just like chess. You can misplay and change the course of the game. Not for your benefit most of the time. But still, that's, yeah, like, it, it would always... Like, giving up like that just triggers me. I, I, I don't know. It's It might be just my nature of I want to uh, go for it and go for Gusto. And if I'm going to do it, I'm going to commit. 
If there's a reason I'm doing a freaking at least seven generation Nuzlocke, um, I'm trying to figure out a way to get eight to work. But still, like I can, if I'm in it, I'm committing to it. We can't trust Fava. No, we knew this. Gwen, have more max revives that are pointless. Thank you. So appreciated. Love those max revives that I can't use. I don't think we're healed, though. Good thing I checked. I was like, I highly doubt this game heals you here. Oh, geez. We are running out of money. Oh, we have hyper potions. Really? Oh, also, I wanted to use this on Skull. That's right. That reminded me. I was like, I wanted to use this on Skull. Me and my two rare candies that I'm just never going to use. I'm that, that triggering person that just does that. But yeah, we need to go buy some stuff really bad. Intruder spotted. We gotta protect our lab. Oh, go for it. I cannot believe Faba gave up like that, though. Like, honestly. Like, Faba just out here giving up his entire rights to this. Also, high school person. I was gonna, like, look at Charizard and be like, Charizard, bro, this guy just gave up. But I don't think he's responded yet. Oh, yeah, he has! Oh, my gosh. Ever seen an AI give up? Oh, hi. Um, Nido King, huh? Ever? I'll I'll uh, I'll text him later. You know what? That's probably a good idea. Like because Charizard needs to know. Charizard just needs to know. The fact that I made an AI give up so hard that it killed. He literally killed his last two Pokemon. He's like, I'm done. I'm just done. Straight up. Like, that's probably one of my favorite. One, or my favorite fight was probably Guzma um, from last episode. Because the amount of switching and thought processes and mental things that were going in. Role play. Pyduck. I actually want to give you this. Like, honestly, I do. But I'm going to play it safe. Because I'm... That kind of guy, watch, we're gonna run into a freaking Wonder Guard mod, and I'm gonna be like, well, you know, I could have learned war role play and given myself Wonder Guard, but it's fine. <sighs> I swear that's gonna happen. I'll be like, wow, I can't believe this. But this team, principal employee, woo, has a Zorua. That's gonna get murdered instantly. Because you don't have anything to replace it with or uh, illusion it with, so I know it's a Zorua. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of upset that I messed up the randomization because it's making this area a lot less thought processy. But we know that the important battles, at least, are at the point where they're all forceful evolved, uh, aka Faba. But still, it's just like, ugh, it's frustrating. Sun Curran. Oh, hi, Oogleblip. I would have loved it to be a shiny Oogleblip, though. Oogleblip tells you everything you need to know. If an Oogleblip, if an Oogleblip pops up, know that something's gonna happen something's about to happen and i we better be scared for it because google have shown up could it be something positive of course google has shown us some positive things in the past but can it be negative of course because google has shown us negative things in the past so something crazy is gonna happen in one of these fights and we gotta be prepared for it i mean google showed up to evolve yay so again it could be positive but it is also Oogle Blip, and Oogle Blip could be like, Hi, I showed up to Evolve Yay, and now I'm showing up to kill Yay. Ha 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 Because it's the Oogle Blip way. So I gotta be careful about Yay, because Oogle Blip giveth and taketh away. So I'm gonna preserve Yay as much as I can. 
Because, yeah, the Google Blip will give it and take it away, taketh away. So I'm hoping that nothing too terrible happens. What do we got? I cannot believe it. Oogle Blip. The prophecy of Oogle Blip. I hate the prophecy of Oogle Blip so much. I actually do. I hate the prophecy of Oogle Blip. I hate the prophecy of Oogle Blip. Why? Why, Oogle Blip? Are you kidding me right now? My only mod to take care of this situation is yay. Primordial Sea is up, which means if anything hits me with a water type move. Gosh dang it, Oogle Blip. This is why Joy hates you, okay? This is exactly why Joy freaking hates you. Because you pull this constantly, and it's just like, Hi, I'm Oogle Blip, and I'm just going to ruin your day today. <sighs> Oogle Blip. Blip. This is worthy of a text. Sometimes I can't. Like, come on, Oogle Blip. Okay, I can see that, so let me move it up. Nope, I can still see that. Sorry, I'm adjusting. Because this was a little off, and it made me upset. This is definitely not me trying to uh, prolong this fight at all. No, I wouldn't do that. That'd be mean of me. Something scary pops up, I just stop everything that I'm doing just to do stuff that I don't actually need to do. Yeah, totally. Definitely not me. That was That would be like absolutely terrible of me to do. Especially when I'm, oh shoot, the thing is moving the wrong. So There, that's better. It's probably not exactly right, but it's better. Um, targeting and uh, no we're not making it a 2v1 instantly please no basket okay grassy surge that's not bad is it i don't know do my my keyboard's like i can't handle this oh press the blitz hits both we'll go for it then how you could have killed it play rough on the a that does nothing okay we're fine we are okay we are just fine you know prolonging fights just because well why not definitely too scared to even like worry about that <laughs> no 
know that he showed up and tried to murder Yay, lol. Cosmog is crazy. Yeah, Cosmog is crazy. You're right. Cosmog is an Ultra Beast? Yeah, Cosmog is an Ultra Beast, okay? Cosmog is the ultra of Ultra Beasts, okay? Cosmog is my best friend. I have a Cosmoium, and uh, it'll evolve um, at some point. Honestly, I have no idea. Like, if anything dies, I actually might add it just for the sake of adding a Ghost and Dragon, or a Ghost and Psychic type. Here's the problem with Ghost and Psychic types, though. Quad Week to Dark. Quad weaknesses, which I really have two quad weaknesses on our team, and it's the same Pokemon, so it's fine. Everything's okay. Baba's gonna pop up and be like, "Guys, how'd you get out of this situation?" Also, you don't—you didn't heal me, did you? Oh no, you did. You did there. Okay. Unless I actually took no damage and I just am crazy, but I think I took damage and I got healed. Um. Gwen. Hmm. Everything is all beaten down here. What do we do? I don't know. You need to completely disappear. Gwen, battle with me. Oh my goodness, I'm struggling. You, you, I guess you are struggling, but are you struggling for the wrong reasons? That's the real question. Executor and Sableye. Uh, probably Mega Sableye. No, regular Sableye. Oh, Quivarius just handles this no problem. Okay. My guy sent out a rug and roll law against a tougher fight. Hi, my name is Hal, and I just do things to annoy you. Sableye used gravity. Great. Definitely not nerve wracking at all. Trick room. You, dude, has a moody Dialga and said. I'm not using that against Xerneas. Dude, that's so triggering, though. That's actually extremely triggering, because it's like... Could have used anything. No, we're just not going to. You know, Moody Dialga, it's a little bit too much of a, a Pokemon to deal with. I'm actually triggered. This... this Lower speed, lower speed. Yes. Okay. I'm just going to uh, Baneful Bunker, though, to protect myself from a hit. And let Hal take care of this, because I'm actually triggered with Hal. Glad I did that, because you attacked into me. I had a silly feeling that that was going to happen. I was like, yeah, let's not die. <laughs> My team, though. Wow, you beat the champion. No, we didn't beat the champion. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe people in the lower. They're strong. Run away. Thank goodness Celestila did so well. Yeah, right? Because you had a Moody Dialga. Young Master, you're back. And then Hal's like, oh my goodness, you actually live here? What? Me mashing the A button. We love mashing the A button over the story. This is why fastest text exists, guys. So that I can just mash A. <laughs> Don't need to hear the story. You guys have heard it a hundred times. It's not like it's a let's play. Um. Mm. Yeah, I lead with Clovarius. Do I lead with Clovarius here? I'm not sure. Yeah, you do. It's not even an if. It's, it's not even close to an if situation. Sorry, I'm going to my uh, school thing. 
or not my school thing, my uh, work to make sure it's 2.30 and not 2. Because if it's 2, I'm massively effed up. But I don't think it is. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that it is not. Plus, it gives me like... Reassurance, which I need reassurance. Me needing reassurance. Reassurance, what? Yes, save that password because I'm not going to remember it every time. But I swear it's 2.30 because I wouldn't have put 2.30 if it was 2, 2 right? Yeah, 2.30 to 9.30. I'm not crazy. Yeah, woo, good job, me. <sighs> so I have to leave him like a little bit. Oh, now you have the quillfish. Okay. Um, I'm going to oblivion wing the uh, super massive... Uh, how? If this is, I don't even know if this is how. I think this might be Gladian. I don't quite remember. I'm sorry. I wish I could see it, but I can't. You have another Moody Pokemon. What are you doing? Why do you have so many Moody Mons? Like, if this is how, if this is how, why do you have so many Moody Pokemon? And why can't you give one to me? Cause I have fun with Moody. Yeah, we'll find out if this was Hal or Gladion here in a second. I think it was Hal though. Gwen, Hal, I'll leave Hava to you. Oh yeah, okay, so it was Gladion. So Gladion also has a Moody Pokemon. Okay, so yeah, this is Scary Fight 2. Luckily, it's 2v1, so this fight's not as bad. Keldeo, who has the Keldeo? Of course. Why would anybody else have the Keldeo except for the Pokemon or the person who's scarier, right? You know? Well, I guess I'm going to attack that side then. That's my first thing I should attack because that Keldeo is scarier than the Masquerade. Dragon Ascent. As long as you're not contrary, you just made yourself weaker, and I'm down for that. You're not contrary. Cool. Dude, imagine contrary, Dragon Ascent. <laughs> yeah, bye, how? Have a great day. You're going to definitely make this a 2v1, aren't you? I feel like that's the strategy, though, going into this, is that he's going to try and make this a 2v1, and how's not helping? Just please, oh, you f switched into a Rotom wa Why do you have a Rotom watch? Why is it actually a really good Pokemon? Oh, Masquerade has True Hot. Okay, so that's even more like, don't have to worry about this status. Um, You don't have a Levitate, so Earthquake? Oh, I got a swap, okay. Uh, uh, oh, that's not a good typing for me though. I gotta go into Garatina. Gotta go into Garatina here. I would go Snugglebop, but I thought about it. And Masquerade's out of the field, so I can't really do that with a Masquerade sitting there. Baby doll eyes. On Graveler. That's a smart play. Surf hits everybody. That definitely Oko's the Graveler. And he got a crit on me. Oh, uh, Mora. Oh my goodness. Why is your team so bad? Okay, Surf, he knocks out his own partner Pokemon. And says, oh, does not say goodbye. Amora actually lives that. What? Okay, Amora. Go for it. Live a move that I never thought you would have ever lived in the first place. But I think that, like, decimates Howe's team pretty much. That basically says Howe's team is dead, is what that says. Okay. <clears throat> Which means it's a 1v1 that I expected to have anyway. And I know I'm okay with 1v1s against Huff. Or at least so far. Pyduck, why are you leveling up so fast? Pyduck's just like, let me come out here and just murk everything. Okay, Moon Guys Beam, because that's a tough Pokemon to fight. And if I if I can actually if Garatina can actually put in some work in an episode finally, I'll take it. Has, Garatina has not been putting in work. If there's a time and a place for it, it's now. Shedinja. Yeah, if there's a time and a place for it, it's just now. Apparently now is the time that we're actually gonna just do everything that, you know, we've been 
instructed to do. But, you know, it's fine, you know. It is totally fine, because Garatina is finally going to do something. It's about high time for that. Keldeo. Actually, Dazzling Gleam super effective, so we're going to go for that. Yeah, I figured you might as well. I mean, he's not doing much work, but it gives you a little bit of chip heal. Not that it matters, but it dies anyway. But it's still something. Aerodactyl. Mega Aerodactyl. Ooh. Oh, you don't have you're not out of mons. Okay, right you. Raichu should be the one that handles this, honestly. Yeah, I want to... I want Raichu to handle this, so Ye has free switch in opportunity. Because Ye resists. So, Raichu, you can handle this, right? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, um, uh oh, that's really bad. That's gonna go in right into Yay. Okay, I'm gonna pull a swap into Quivarius. And then Fampy could kill or should kill. Or not. Actually, I'm slower. So I could just hit the Dazzling Gleam button because Fampy will die first. Elimise finale. Okay, that's fine. Ending with an Elimise makes sense. Honestly, it straight up does. That doesn't die at all. That is like 30, 40, 40. But got the uh, the paralysis or the confusion off. Oh, you know what fight we have as well that I just thought about? We have that fight. Oh. Oh. Yikes. That fight exists. She's level 45 naturally, isn't she? Oh, uh, we might have to do some training if that's the case. Because that I, I don't think I can deal with omni-boosted Pokemon that are that high level. Oh, wait. No, no, no. That's after. That's that's after. That's after. That's after. We fight her for the first time, and then we fight her in uh, the, the um, Nihilego form. And in the Nihilego form, that's when that happens. But in the next episode of the Pokemon Sun and Moon Saga Luck, we are going to be facing off against <sighs> Lusamine. And, um, Guzma. I'm going to take on these two fights off screen because who cares about them? They have one Pokemon each. It does not matter. Um, but yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!